it's the flower pot face off the b0 the b1 the b2 the injectors we've got them all here in the bunker to determine what is the difference between these big hitting tabletop vape bangers let's find out We've got the B0 against the B1 against the B2 and I just keep seeing questions like what are the differences so I thought who best but George to tell you. You know it's one of these ones that kind of makes my head spin because there are so many options when it comes to the flower pot and I know people you know it's, it's definitely got a reputation as one of the greatest home units on the planet. The of flower course pot. of course. But there are a number of different choices to make when you're looking at it and I know that for me it's certainly baffled me over the years and a few different changes have come out over the years. Uh, originally the company was called New Vape now it's called Cannabis Hardware and they've always updated and upgraded their kit um, so it is a little bit hard to get to grips with how this stuff works what it is you're spending money on and what is the difference between all these different devices so yeah it's really good to get them all on the table so we can take it step by step and just explain how these things work and what are these various different options so let's start I think uh, We'll go from um, bottom of the price range right. to the top. Yeah, and they're not cheap. These things they no. can range from uh, you know depending on what kind of setup you're getting. We're focusing on the essentials bundle, which is um, the the sort of the basic kit that gives you everything you need. But then there are a number of different essentials bundles. So there is the B zero at the lowest end of the spectrum. This is £299. And then they range up to the £540 uh, and some even more than that um, at the higher end of the spectrum. Some of them are flowers or dry herbs only. Yeah. Some of them you can use concentrates as well. Yeah. So we're going to go through all these. We've got a, a couple of different um, setups here. And just to make it easy, what you will be getting if you get a flower pot essentials bundle is one of the head sets with one of these PID units. We've got a dual PID here just for display purposes. You normally wouldn't use that. You'd normally use a, a single PID unit and the PID unit is basically just the temperature control unit. It's the same kind of thing you'd have for an e-nail. It allows you to set the temperature of your vaporizer and it's just directing electricity basically straight to a thermal couple coil, which is this kind of thing. Same sort of thing you'd use in many different kind of industrial applications. Kettles have a similar sort of thing in them basically. Um, and then what cannabis hardware have done is machined all these different metal parts that build themselves around this thermocouple coil so that you can then put it on top of your flowers and inhale the vapor through a bubbler. So this kind of setup you'll be using what's called a shovel head bowl, which is this piece here. You put your ground herbs in here and then you'll be using a glass bubbler of some sort. We've got the big baller here and you're just bubbling the vapor through water. So it is very similar to like hitting a bong, I guess. You're not combusting, you're basically trying to do full extraction of all the important components that are in your herbs and concentrates and extracting it all in one fell swoop really so that it's you know giving you the most efficient vaporization experience. And if I can just say something about cannabis hardware, I believe they were the first people that introduced the ruby post to the game. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a difficult one to really nail that down because they, they did come, uh, these, these ball vapes all came about at a similar sort of time. Um, there are some uh, kind of reviewers who got involved around the time. I know Troy from 420, 420 yeah. he gets a lot of credit for this, although he's told me he wasn't the guy who kind of came up with the ball vape method. All the current range of cannabis hardware flower pot vapes are now what is called ball vapes and that's a whole different um, sort of a factor into this yeah. as well as these being sort of metal 
headsets, these heater sort of pieces that are built around the thermocouple coil. They've also got about 100 ruby pearls in there, which I personally believe make the air path, like the vapor in there, disperse so much better. And this is what makes the flower pot so good. But why do you think they're so good, George? Yeah, I, I, to be honest, I, I don't understand the science of it myself. It's something to do with, you'll see these little sort of glass beads in there. They're ruby pearls. You get them like this in a little bag. Um, and they sit inside the heater headset like they just disperse the heat exactly a little bit more evenly they kind of hold the heat a little bit more uh, kind of just moderate they the just heat work. I suppose yeah and so your air is going through that it's heating up as it's going through the coil and through the beads and giving you a really even vaporization of your of your herbs and concentrates so uh, Let's, let's uh, go through the various different options here and maybe take a couple of hits and, and see what we're dealing with here. We've got the B0, as I said, the sort of bottom end of the spectrum. This is your entry level version. Um, this is very basic in design and that's why it's a fair bit lower in cost than the other headsets. It's an exposed coil unlike this one for example this is the b1 this is the coil would be enclosed in all this metal just like it is on this b1 injector so the coil isn't exposed to the elements it means it's kind of keeping the heat a bit more focused when you've got this kind of setup the b0 is a bit lower cost because it doesn't have all that metal around the outside. It's just a coil, there's some beads in the middle of the coil, and then it's got this kind of 18.8 millimeter injector style base. Now you can use that with a, um, a shovel head bowl, just like this. You can also use it with any kind of glass bowl that you might have for any other vape. You can use the elevator bowl, you can use a sort of cheap Chinese glass flower bowl. Um, this is the herbalizer, herbalizer bowl. It's a little bit wet there, so it crackled as I put it in there. I've just uh, given this a rinse off. Um, and yeah, you, you're just essentially loading that up with flour. I'm gonna do that right now. And putting the heater on top and uh, inhaling through it. So this is the process you'll be going through to use it. The nice thing about the flower pots is that you can load up quite a lot of flour in one go, or you can load a really small amount. So you can actually microdose with these, but what we found is that a lot of people who use flower pots tend to like kind of big hits. So just like me, you might have the intention to want to microdose, but then you find out how actually well the device performs and you end up taking these big hits just because you can. <laughs> yeah, so. exactly. So just a little crackle and pop of the water there. Nothing to worry about, <laughs> but it's a little bit disconcerting. But there you go, you're just popping it in there. Wow. It's just seamless. It's nice and quick, and wow. this is the thing that people love about flower pots. There's no messing about. It's nice and quick. It's kind of on all the time if you're a regular um, vape user. It's for high dose vaping. There's really very little that, that measures up to it, you know? And even with that lower end of the spectrum B0 basic kit, you're still getting the full flower pot experience. It's, it's a pretty- It's very impressive, experience. it's very impressive. Yeah. It works really well with these nice kind of big tabletop bubblers. This is the um, kind of matrix uh, bubbler. George, I'm sure you will be talking about more, but can you just let us know how the taste was on that? Yeah, it's really intense, like it's on quite hot, I think. So it got almost a full extraction. You can see the, the color. The nice thing about using these glass bowls is you can see the color difference of the herb. You can see it's gone quite dark brown yeah. um, at the bottom there. So yeah, it's quite full extraction quite early on, but you do get like that blast of terpenes, all the flavors all at once, basically. Nice. Quite intense. So, okay, that's what you're getting for 299 pounds. Let's go one step up. B1. B1. So this is where the injector option starts to come in. You've got 
the B1, this is the normal standard B1 headset, which goes, works with the um, shovel head bolt here. So this is a little bit more expensive if you're buying the B1 standard um, flower pot essentials bundle because uh, you're, you're paying for this shovel head bowl as well. That's another big chunk of machined metal, basically. If you just go for the B1 injector, which is what we've got over here, you'll see the difference. This has again got that 18.8 millimeter joint attached to it. Now you can use this with a shovel head bowl if you want to, but you don't get that in the essentials bundle. What you get is a glass um, elevator bowl. It's very similar to this. Um, so again, exactly like the B0, you can just use it straight on here. Still got a little bit of goodness left in that bowl. And George is gonna make sure that gets fully extracted now. But yeah, the B0, even though it's the bare bones model at 299, it will still give you amazing fire hits. Look at that. Yeah, and this is the, the B1. And it, it's very similar, I would say, to the B0. Maybe a little bit less harsh. I'm not sure if it's something to do with it being, you know, encased in metal. I'm not yeah. sure why that makes any difference. For some reason, it just feels a little bit smoother with the B1. So the B1 injector, injector. comes at a price higher than the B0, but you would say you can definitely feel the difference. Yeah, I'm going to check these prices because it's hard for me to keep all this <laughs> stuff in my head. So yeah, the B1 uh, standard is 457 99 for the um for the essentials kit with the b1 standard and the injector the b1 injector is a little bit cheaper at 415.99 right so essentially you're saving yourself about 40 pounds by by going with the injector and some people prefer the injector because they like the idea of their herbs being in these glass bowls it's more glass to the experience glass is generally better yeah of flavor. course yeah so, you know, even though you're saving a bit of money, you're getting a bit of bonus then. The downside, the trade-off when you're getting the injector is you're reducing the size of the column of hot air that's going through your bowl. So when you're using the, um, the B1 standard and the shovel head bowl, you're getting a wider column of hot air going through there. Uh, it just means slightly more efficient vaporization. It's slightly more powerful with this setup. You also get a little bit of conductive heat retention in this bowl itself. Just it's, on that, George, if I had the extra money, I'd definitely get the shovel head. Right. I, I, you know, it does make a difference. It means it's slightly quicker hits and slightly more even, evenly toasted. For me, it's about the, the even evenness of the herb at the end. And if I can do that, then I will definitely get it. Right. Whereas with this one, it, the column is slightly narrower, um, so it's slightly less even. Uh, That's it. Toasting. That's all that is for me personally. So let's go one step up. B2. This is the absolute top Whoa. of the cream of the crop when I it love comes the to the flower pots. Yeah, let's move this B0 out of the way over here. and we'll... It has everything you want and more than B2. Yeah, so the B2 it does everything the B1 does, but you also now throw concentrates. Concentrates, wow. So what's cool about this is it's quite similar to the V-Rod, which used to be a, a previous model. And I've got the B2 injector here in my hands. It's not actually connected up to a coil, but you can see it's nice and clean. And it's got this silicon carbide dish on top. So silicon carbide is a type of ceramic I think it's used actually in, in NASA kind of engineering. It's very high heat, um, heat uh, safety and resistance, yeah. exactly. Uh, but it's very even in terms of the, uh, the way it conducts the heat around the surface. So it's not like standard ceramic or like quartz or even like titanium. It kind of mellows out the heat, but evenly spreads it around the whole surface. Very nice. Bowl. So you get this really lovely flavor from it. It's also quite easy to keep clean. And then it's sitting on top again of all those ruby pearls on the inside, just like the B1 and the B0. That would be full of ruby pearls in there, these little balls in here. And then you've got the choice again. Do you go with the injector setup, which is what I've got here, where it sits on a glass bowl, just like this, 
with a slightly reduced column of air. Or are you going to get the shovel head? Exactly. Are you going to go with the shovel head? And the great thing about this whole setup is that you can not only vape concentrates on it or vape flowers, but you can vape concentrates and flowers at the same time. together at the same time. That's exactly. what I want. So Absolutely. this is end game stuff when it comes to the flower pot. And because of that, it comes in at a slightly higher price. So the B2 injector is £540. The B2 standard, £577.99. So not cheap. Not cheap, no. At all, but it's definitely covering all your bases. And you also get this carb cap with it. Which for your concentrate. Is exactly for Why when you're dabbing. Much. It sits beautifully over that nut on the top of the... B2 headset there. So we're going to do this now. And do you, do you fancy uh, doing the honors on this? A little Ready. bit of a flower and dab double header. Um, let's load up your flowers first of all. One thing we should really point out is the importance of these safety stuff. Oh my goodness, absolutely, yeah. You get this with the essentials kit and really you absolutely need it. Um, and when he says need it, he means you need it. It's not like, oh, maybe. You've got to get the stand, honestly. Yeah, there, there used to be uh, kit options or people would buy the various parts and build their own kit and try and save a bit of money by not having the stand. Um, there are other options out there. I'm actually using the old head stand for this B1 injector here, which isn't bad. It's a bit of a lower cost option if you are kind of building up your own kit. But this stand is so nice and solid. It's really heavyweight on the bottom. And it's just for safety and for peace of mind. I just love having that, that basic safety stand. It's, it like really does the job there. So you just load some normal CBD herb into exactly. the chamber there. Yeah, I've got some CBD flour in my shovel head bowl. And then we're going to put the heater head on top. Yeah, And then I'm going to throw a dab on. We've got some of this banana kush from the goods. And you get ready with your carb cap. Yeah. What the carb cap is doing is just holding all that heat in the dish. So you're not getting any evaporation of your... And am I going to be using it like a carb cap? Yeah, you can use it like a carb cap. You can just leave it on there as well. It's just keeping the ambient temperature in that of dish course. up. Um, and so you're getting this kind of double header of concentrates and flowers at the same time. So I'm just going to load this on for you and then you're going to be good to go. It's a little bit difficult getting it on the scoop there. Nice. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. This is actually directional, so you can sort of swivel it around if you've got enough hands. Um, there's a lot going on with this setup, but it is kind of remarkable. It, you know, there's really nothing else that hits quite like a flower pot B2 with concentrates and flowers all in one. Ah, oh, I can definitely feel that concentrate there. Wow. <laughs> I mean, the taste is as good as it gets. Yeah, and I think there's there's really, there's there's many other vaporizers out there and some really powerful home units. The Volcano Hybrid, for example, is in a similar sort of price bracket and very highly regarded. But you, not quite the same. Yeah, and you don't get that experience from you the would Volcano not, Hybrid. Yeah. You know, there's, there's not really anything that feels quite like hitting a flower pot B2 with concentrates and flowers all in one hit like that and the nice thing about it is the quality of the build you know it's, yeah it's really well put together as well everything feels well made and solid what i personally really loved about the b2 here i've just taken is out the flower and the concentrate translated at the same time and i could actually taste both so yeah that's a great thing i thought it was going to taste one more than the other but i didn't it was just both yeah and really you're getting because you're doing this kind of quite intense Kind of hit let's look at the color of the flower in there that's already quite dark in color 
a little bit hard to get it off the, the bubbler there. I don't know if you can see the color there. It's quite nicely toasted. Um, so that's quite a full extraction. And then you're throwing on the concentrate as well for added you know, intensity. Yeah. Um, it's arguably you're almost getting a dab hit from the flower alone because right. you're doing it's such that a hot, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're throwing the concentrate on on top as well. So it is for high dosage people, really. Right. Uh, personally, I wouldn't get a B2 if I was a micro doser. Right. But for those occasions when you just want one big hit, exactly, forget about it. You just need to address your medical situation or whatever in a few seconds. You know, it's hard to Sometimes beat I do personally want a flower hit and I want to concentrate hit. I know right. I might be greedy or whatever, but <laughs> I do want to do both. And sometimes I find it takes like 10 minutes because I got to get my e-rig. Then I got to get my like tiny mind and do my hits, for example. But now one minute, set up, start, bow. Well, you say it's greedy, but let's think about the actual practical applications of this. Say you're a medical patient here in the United Kingdom. Um, you can't really get very good high CBD flour on a prescription here in the United Kingdom. So what a lot of people will do is they'll get uh, maybe a 19, 20% THC flour on their prescription, and then they may get some CBD concentrate to bring up the CBD content. Absolutely, You're yeah. getting a really balanced effect I never there. thought about it that way, but I totally agree with and you. And that's yeah. definitely a, a, what a lot of medical patients are looking for. And so if you are that kind of patient and you, you want that kind of high dosage, then I really would think about looking at the flower pot. Obviously, it's not a medically certified device like the volcano, the volcano yeah. is, but it's definitely giving you that kind of medical um, delivery of your of your medicines so yeah it's definitely interesting now price wise having yeah. tried them all yeah uh what do you think have you got any um sort of thoughts about what you might yeah personally if i had the budget for all of these I'd actually head towards the B1. Now, I think with the B2, my tolerance would be going really high and I'd be using it all the time. That's the only reason, really and truly. The B1 just takes the B0 a bit higher. It refines on all the little, the little things that the B0 didn't quite get right. And it got right pretty much everything, but just the heat dispersion and things like that, the B1 I'd go for, not the B1 injector, just the normal B1. Yeah, I think you're right. I think the, B, the B1 has a slightly area draw to the b2 i felt that you know it's, it's not this time but I whenever i try it because it's got this instead of just having the the uh the open screen on the b1 you've got that little nut on top of the dish so the air is kind of more directed in a smaller space so it, it's you know there's less it's a little bit more restriction when you're inhaling um but that does mean you almost get a more powerful hit from it. It's weird how it works, right? Yeah. yeah. So some people are going to really like that. Personally, I, I quite like the area draw of the B1. I do think it's an improvement on the B0. Yeah. But it's kind of hard to put into words. Like there's a slightly... We're not doing it justice. It's a slightly better hit from the B1. But personally, I would go for the B2. And like wow. you, I'd go for the B2 standard because I do think there's benefit in yeah. having this metal bowl. It just just seems to hit a little bit smoother you get a slightly more full extraction so yeah of course that's the most expensive kit 577 pound 99 but i can see why it is the most expensive Me too. i think it is the best of of all and just being able to do both at the same time concentrate and flower yeah it's very incredible yeah yeah so i think if, I, if i'm spending that amount of money on a flower pot setup I probably push the boat out and go all out yeah. so that I can do those dabs when I want to. And then I've got the option, you know, I can actually just use this as an email and just do dabs. I don't have to load up the flower bowl. Exactly. But, yeah. You know, you've got the option. I fully agree with you, George. And the viewers might be asking themselves, why are we talking so much about it? It's because they are expensive devices. And if you're going to buy one, you need to know exactly what you're buying. Definitely. And, uh, you know, I hope this has answered some of those questions that we always get. You know, I hope this helps you to make your mind up on which setup you're getting. But the good news is these are modular. Oh, yeah. So once you've got a setup, you can a buy match. a different headset. You can buy, you know, you can even if you buy the injector, you can take off the bottom of the injector headset, switch it for a standard 
and use it with a shovel head bowl. So you can always upgrade and adapt and slightly change. Could you use setup. the B1 injector for the B2? Yes, you can. Right. You can. You can just take, uh, essentially, you just take the bottom part of it yeah. like this and you get the different bottom part. So like you just said, very modular. <laughs> exactly. It it's all fits together beautifully and it all works really nicely. It's all really well built stuff. So yeah, it is very modular. So there you have it. That's the flower pot face off. Do let us know what is your favorite out of all these incredible devices. And after having seen this video, would you get a flower pot? Yeah, and which one would you get? Or is there something else out there that beats all these that we haven't even mentioned? Or a question that we do really want to know the answer to is, is it off-putting? Does it put you off seeing like these big devices on the table? Yeah, I hope that we've uh, helped explain it. And while you're at it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you get more videos from us. We'll see you very soon next time. Peace.